Today is day number 18 of the cleaning and low spin challenge and um, today is last switches and walls and my normal weekly chore is the floors and then I did just throw a load of clothes in the washer. I wouldn't have had a whole load of clothes but Noah needed his robe washed and his robe is big soft fluffy it's almost like a blanket i want one like that i don't even remember where we got it from but i want one like that but i want it to be longer because that thing is just so soft but i probably wouldn't wear it much because i'm too hot natured which today would be a great day to wear it because the high is 57 um so it's the coldest day so far this year I don't mind cold weather. I don't want it to get freezing, but I don't mind cold. And um, so yeah, I'm washing a load of clothes. I just emptied the wa dishwasher and reloaded it. Um, I made a mistake and put two things in the very top that I shouldn't have because I know that those things don't get clean up there. I don't know why they don't get clean up there. They just don't. So, um. I made that mistake or I don't know either me or Jeff one or the other put them in there but either way it doesn't matter I re put those in there I, what I put those back in the dishwasher in a different location but I'm wearing a hoodie today because it's chilly and I love it and um I don't know what else I'm going to be doing today other than I'm doing the Bible study because it is Tuesday and I'm doing the light switches 
and I'm not doing the whole walls because that would take more than one day. I don't think that Tiffany from Large Family Love, it's almost time for the Bible study. I'm already ready for it. Uh, but anyway, except I think I might have messed up my camera so I may have to readjust it because um, I bumped it yesterday. But that's okay. Um, what was I saying? I don't think Tiffany meant washing every single wall in your house on one day. I don't know how anyone could do that without help. I mean, unless you had a tiny house. If you had a very tiny house, yeah. But the average American house, no. Nah. <laughs> Not take everything down and move everything. So I will wash whatever I see that needs washing on the walls. I did already do some of that yesterday without even thinking about it. It was just while I was doing baseboards, I was like, oh, there's something. Let me just wipe that up real quick. <laughs> so I did that. And I'm thinking that I may just do the same thing I did yesterday and get my little bucket and which I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with that thing. I loved it because it was red and I got it for free from Grove. And I had it for a long time and it just had stuff stuck in it. I've got a couple of those. I've got a white one and a red one. And I was like, what am I going to do with this thing? And now I have a perfect use for it because it holds cleaning water and it's not too big and bulky and it's got a little handle and I can just tote it around the house and it won't be too heavy. So it's perfect for that. So if you have one of those little buckets and you're trying to figure out what to do with it, there you go. <laughs> Tonight is taco night. I don't think I'm going to share our dinner. Like I'll show you the dinner, but I'm not going to show you me cooking it because it's just tacos. And Jeff wants me to make some more of that non bread or he wants us to do it together. But this time not put the Italian seasoning and not put the Parmesan cheese, but maybe put some other kind of seasoning um, and maybe cheddar cheese in it for using for like the way chalupas are. He wants to do that tonight for his tacos. I'm going to still eat my taco salad. <laughs> Either way, I'm eating my taco salad because that's what I like. Um, So yeah, that's what's happening today. I... I wanted to tell y'all about the apple pie baked oatmeal. Uh, I tried it this morning and the 8x8 pan, whenever I cut it up, it's going to be like nine pieces that are about the size of a post-it note that are about this size. So that's the size I ate this morning because any more than that and I couldn't have eaten it. It would have been too much because oatmeal is filling. Um, and then it's got the nuts in it too. So, in the apple. So, that makes it even more filling. And I have never had oatmeal, like oatmeal, oatmeal, with anything other than like sugar, maybe brown sugar and milk. I've never eaten oatmeal with any kind of flavorings other than that. I don't eat it with cinnamon. I don't eat it with fruit. Nothing like that because I was raised with just milk and sugar. And that's the way I've always done it. I know I like apple. I mean, apple. I know I like apples. I know that. But I know I like oatmeal cookies and I like other things that oatmeal is in. But I've never had something that, I mean, the star of that dish is oatmeal. You know, that's the main ingredient. I was a little bit like, eh, am I going to like this? don't know but I tried it anyway and I don't like it cold I mean it tastes okay but I just don't like cold oatmeal unless it's in like a granola bar or something but I didn't like that cold but heated up it was pretty good but if you do go to that link she does have some tips about how to heat it up I didn't do that this morning but I wish I would have and something else about that um, I'm going to run into the problem of it is only supposed to be in the refrigerator for five days. There's nine pieces. I'm probably the only one going to eat it. I was like, well, I wonder if you can freeze it. So I went back to her website and yes, you can freeze it. So I'm going to take part of it and put it into individual little, wrap it in individual things and like wax paper and stick it in a Ziploc. 
and stick it in the freezer and I'll have a quick easy breakfast. So I may make some of that up in a big nine by 13 and just have some freezer breakfast for me. That would be a good idea, I think. Something other than waffles, you know, or pancakes. So, it was good. It was really good. It smells fabulous, but the taste is pretty good too. I mean, honestly, the smell might be a little bit better than the taste, but I don't know. It's good. It's just good. So, if you want to know, there you go. Uh, don't know what else I'm going to talk about. I want to make some more haystacks. I made some of those for a video when I was doing just like videos dedicated to just one thing. Really, um, I made some of those before and if I make them, I will share it with you. It's super simple. I want to make some of those just to have because we're not buying frivolous things and candy is frivolous things or frivolous things. That's why I've been baking more things and doing a little bit more sweets things because I do have a sweet tooth, but I don't eat a lot of sweets. Like this morning, the oatmeal bake was sweet. I'm trying to see the time, but it was not too sweet. So that's one reason why I could only eat a tiny amount is because I don't want too much sweets, but I want a little bit, um, once a day at least. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go for now. I will be back after my Bible study. Okay. I said I wasn't going to film supper. At least I think I did. I don't know if I did or not, but I'm going to do a little bit. We are, um, got the taco meat here. It's already got seasoning in it. I put my seasoning in it while it's cooking instead of after. I just like the way it tastes better. And I know I have to drain some of the grease off most of the time, but that's okay. If I need more seasoning, I add a little bit more. And we're gonna make this Spanish rice. This is the one that has the can of tomatoes in it. It has two tablespoons of butter or margarine, a can of tomatoes, the seasoning, and two and a quarter cups of water. So I'm going to put that together and I'm not going to do it like the directions say because I'm not going to brown the rice or do you want me to brown the rice? I could show them how to brown it in the microwave if I did that. I've shown y'all how I do it on top, top of the stove and um, I'm not going to brown it. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you going to turn it on? I've got to get water. What? How much? Two cups, and then I'm gonna have to get another quarter of a cup. All right, stop. Thank you. Exactly right. He did exactly right. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera down, and I'm gonna film like just some of the stuff because I actually don't have a lot that I filmed today. Quarter. Yeah, a quarter cup. Um, because. I, the chores are simple and it's just vacuuming. I did wash that load of clothes and they're in the dryer, but I haven't done much. I don't think. I say that sometimes and I end up with three hours worth of stuff, but I really haven't because of other stuff today. But let me put the camera down and I'll be right back. Okay, so this, if you wanted to brown it, you would put the butter and the rice mix in here without the seasoning, without the water or tomatoes. And you would put it in the microwave for a minute or so and then you would brown it. We don't mind, I mean, we don't have to have it toasty. We're fine without it being toasty. So I'm just gonna put it together. It tastes just as good to us anyway. And this uses a can of diced tomatoes with the juice. Seasoning. Now I have to have butter. Butter. Oh, that's about two tablespoons. We're just going to say that's two tablespoons. <laughs> what? And this is how you do it. No, I'm just joking. You got to mix it together a little bit. And I just put it in the microwave uncovered for usually about anywhere between 15 and 18 minutes. It's just according to which kind you're using of this stuff. 
<laughs> but I'm gonna stick it in there. But we're gonna grate some cheese, cut up some lettuce, some tomato. What else we're we gonna do? What other toppings do we need? Cheese, lettuce, tomato. I don't have any of the other cheese, the um, queso cheese. Don't have any of that. So we're not doing that, but I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I'll be back. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of so tacos is what is on the menu I don't know if I said that I think I did but who knows you can probably figure that out with all the sides and the things here got cheese got some tortilla chips taco sauce salsa sour cream taco meat Spanish rice is what that one was some tortillas tomatoes and lettuce and hungry people so that's what we're having for tonight Okay guys, there was an email I got and I wanted to talk about what the email was about. Well, it's about command hooks and things like that because I said on the walls in here, these um, knotty pine walls that I don't want to poke any holes in them that aren't already there. Whenever we moved in, there were already holes. So we did use those to hang up some things but there are some things that we have hung up with command strips. 
not only on that wall but also in other places and I'm going to show you those and how we do it but before I do that I want to show you some of my favorite types of command strips some of these I may not have the um, packaging for because I don't usually keep the packaging I take them out and I just I'll show you all right so these are the big ones I get these from Sam's most of the time which I haven't bought any in a while but they come apart like if I can show you nope it's not gonna work it works better when it's actually attached to the wall let me see if I can get it to come apart no there we go you just have to hold your mouth right <laughs> anyway this little part is the part that actually attaches to the wall and you put that part up and you let it stay you use one of these you put this part onto the strip and then you put this part that says wall let me see if I can get it to focus you put that part on the actual wall and then you let it say sit there for a while a few hours it's according to how heavy whatever it is you're hanging is but let it sit there and cure for a while and jeffrey's back anyway after that has done that you can hang whatever it is but one thing about the command hooks is you have to make sure you get the right size for the weight of the thing that you're doing and in this little baggie like this was a huge box it was just huge in the baggie that I have here it keeps running from me I have how much weight that it holds so that I know can you focus on that can you you don't love it no these hold five pounds so I know that if I hang yeah there I am if I hang a robe on it it's gonna be fine which is one of the things I use these for and I'll show you that but anyway you hang this part on the wall and you let it cure and all that stuff and then you just put this back on there and it slides on and it hides the actual command strip it looks like it's just there like it's just there and these are some of my favorites for hanging heavier bigger things um, I'll show you an example like my aprons are on some of those so I'll show you that in a few minutes these are some of the same types of situation except they're smaller these hold three pounds um all of the ones in this bag i know hold three pounds and you can get them in different colors this one's pink these don't come apart like those others so whenever you hang it it's there um and usually you have a little tab sticking out the bottom like this little part right here will stick out the bottom of it but and it's the same thing wall side and command strip height side but we have camouflage ones and there's pink one and then there's just the white ones and you can get all kind of colors this one is a smaller one but it's still supposed to hold three pounds it's supposed to still work the same way it's not focusing it does not like me at all now it focuses I don't know anyway same kind of strip but it's smaller and I keep the little card in here and also they give you instructions on the back oh that focused perfectly what is happening anyway this is another kind that I use that I'll show you how we use those there or do we have any of these that they can see the little bitty ones don't you have some with the lights over there where did you put these? What did you buy? What did we buy these for? Anyway, they're clear. And their strips are also clear. That white stuff will all be clear. The glue is clear. This is four of them stuck together. I don't remember what we used these for. These are like the super tiny ones. But they hold... Um... They don't even have the amount of weight on here, so almost nothing. But 
the reason why we like the clear ones is so that you can't like they're not as easy to see these are some i don't know if i have any of these out anywhere right now but these are the type that they hold like well they hold papers and this one's too thick can you give me a piece of paper off my desk this or somewhere yeah give me a, just a piece of paper not a bunch they will hold more than one piece of paper they hold um I don't know how many pieces it doesn't say, but I'm just gonna stick it in there because if it's on the wall or something, it's easier. But it will hold it. Like if you wanna put little birthday cards or if you wanna do for like Christmas and you wanna have your um, cards attached to the wall because maybe you live in an apartment and you don't have a lot of counter space or you live in a tiny house or a small house and you don't have a lot of vertical space no horizontal space you would put this on the wall and be vertical space or you maybe you want to use it um at your desk or something like that these are really good for that um and they're called fridge clips you can put them on the refrigerator too i don't know how much weight they hold because it's just for a couple pieces of paper um but i like those that is not a command strip what is this this is the velcro ones Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Velcro type, but I'm going to show you some that we've already used. People usually, once they've used them, they'll just throw it away. But you can take this Velcro part, this is front and back, and you can put another strip on. You can just take one of these. Nope, that's the Velcro thing. Well, one of the strips like what I had... That's a Velcro one in that. What's it in there for? I can show them the example of one with the actual strip already on it with that one. You just put, like, this right here is one that's already attached to the backing. And this is the other side. But those two sides stick together. And the way we do it is we stick them together. And then we will stick it to the back of whatever it is we want to hang up. And then we'll put it on the wall. And sometimes we have taken one side off after the wall side is attached. And let it cure. And some, like the menu board, we didn't. We just left it up. Jeff said it would be fine. So I trusted him. And he was right. How about that? But I like these Velcro things for any kind of flat thing that you're going to stick to the wall that um is going to be at the right weight limit now the way these work is different than the hooks these is according to the weight um say you want to hang something that's three pounds you use one of these like one set if it's three pounds if you want something that is six pounds, you have two. If it's 12 pounds, you have four. And I'm gonna see if I can get this close enough that you guys can see that and it will focus. There we go, that did work. Maybe you can see it, but it shows you on the back how to do it. And I'm gonna come away kind of a little bit slower so it doesn't like freak your eyeballs out. But I like these, they come in different colors. Well, I know they have black and white. I don't know if they have other colors. But it really doesn't matter because you don't see it after that. And it doesn't ruin your wall. Um, another kind that we really like that we use for like Christmas lights and stuff like that. I'm going to show you an example of those. Are these clear, bigger ones. If it, They're so clear that they're not trying to focus. There we go. These bigger ones, we like to use for that and they use they have clear ones of these that you can get and then we have some white ones of those same type of hooks but they're white and we have those now they hold i don't remember how many pounds does that hold the little uh there it is half a pound 
I thought that it wasn't in there, but it's so tiny. It's not gonna show up, I think. There we go, 0.5 pounds. That's how much one of these little ones will hold, is 0.5 pounds. It'll focus on my face in a minute, or if not, I'll just be blurry. Well, it doesn't like me again. Oh well, it'll get all right. So, those you can get clear, or you can get the white ones. I don't know if they have other colors or not, because we haven't ever bought any other colors. Um, but they are good for like Christmas lights and stuff like that. And I'm gonna show you another one that holds a half a pound, that these have like a little metal hook that adjust and I'll show you one of these how I'm using it at least I think that's what's up there I can't see without my glasses Jeffrey is this kind what's over there I'll show you one of these in the shower I know there's one in the shower they make them for bathrooms they make them for outside they make them for all kinds of things um that's all the different kinds we have because this is more of those this kind I don't know why these are not in there because that's the same exact kind that's the only kinds that we have well we do have another kind that's a, that holds a half a pound it's just the hook is different it's just got like a different kind of hook they're good for hanging up your Christmas stockings if you want to do that. They're good for just all kinds of things like that. These right here, are the big ones, are really good for Christmas stockings because we put those up last year and then we just took them down and we can replace that little strip whenever, we, I mean, it doesn't cost much to replace that and you're not having to repaint your wall. So now I'm gonna show you where I have some command strips around the house. Ready? Okay, so this is the um, menu board he just put up. And there's how the command strips are. And they won't mess up the wall. I'm not gonna take them down because I don't wanna ruin them. But they won't mess up the wall. But you can see there's holes already in this wall that we didn't put there. But all you do is line them back up. And press. It sounds terrible, but it's just the Velcro sticking back together. And you've got your menu board there and it won't come off. Now, I have found that they don't stick real good to the sides of refrigerators, but there are ones that are specifically for refrigerators. Now, this one right here I'm gonna show you is one of the clear ones. And y'all may not have ever noticed it on our wall, but it's one that's upside down. Jeff has it here for whenever we put Christmas lights up. But you can have them upside down. I don't know. He hooked it around, however. Then we have one here for Christmas lights as well. But I just stuck this on there because I had it. And he also has one of those that has the metal hook. That's um, one that he uses for Christmas lights. We have them all around the top of the house. Uh, we actually started using more of the clear ones. But... We don't, um, we didn't have those whenever we first started. All right, and over here is where we have my aprons. This used to be where the Jeff and the kids had their lunch boxes, but Noah doesn't take his lunch to work anymore, and Selena doesn't work, and she doesn't even live here. So, anyway, these are the ones that you can take apart, and that's how easy it is to take it apart, but I was having a difficult time trying to do it otherwise but all you have to do is push up on it it's not as difficult as it looked but they're pretty sturdy they're supposed to hold five pounds so they have my aprons and then this one has jeff's lunch box and i don't know how much does your lunch box weigh oh maggie i didn't know she was there i didn't hurt her or anything it scared me how much do you think it weighs i don't know six seven pounds really that's only supposed to be five pounds what's well, good <laughs> okay all right so the another another way we use command strips is this right here we have my calendar hooked to it and um 
for our calendar, which I hung it up there a little bit crooked, but y'all can't look at that part. You just gotta turn your head a little bit. But what we do is I use a binder clip and I hang my calendar and it doesn't um, put a hole in the door, because that is a door, and it doesn't um, cause any problems. Whenever I want to swap my calendar, I just flip it and then clip it back on, pop that side down, and there you go. My calendar's hung up. All right, so now I want to go to the bedroom, I guess, is the next place we have them. Where else do we have any of them? All over the house. We have this hung by the Velcro type. It's the thermometer. He's hung up there with that. Now I gotta line it back up. But nobody would ever know that. Oh, I got him crooked. He is a crooked lizard. Ow, I hurt my hand on his leg. How rude, lizard. What else is hung up? I don't know. Um, this is hung by him, isn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. This is a painting that's, yeah, that Selena did. And it's hung by one um, Velcro strip. Um, now, I'm too short. I shouldn't have taken it down. Here. He's going to hang it back up while I show you another one. What I, This one right here in my closet, I have one of these little odor things on it. But... Truth be known, that's where I hang bras sometimes, so let's not talk about that anymore. Okay, so all around the top and all over there, we have, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. We have hats. We have one spot over here where I can show you where that there's um, an empty hook. Why is there an empty hook? Oh, you threw that hat away. So, we hung all the hats with those, and then we have this hat hung on one of the metal of the uh, metal hook ones, and we have a binder clip for holding it too, and it does not hurt your hat to have it on there. Now, I don't know how it would do with a leather hat or anything like that, but this one, I can't see. You didn't flip it up? I didn't flip it. Yeah, I did. Anyway, that is hooked with command strips, all of that. All right, I think we only have one in here, don't we? No, we have two. In here, we have one, which it was not for the bathroom, but we put it in here anyway. And it's been hanging there for what, two, three years? Probably so. Yeah, and we hang like little bathroom accessories. There's one behind the door, you gotta come inside. This is one of the big ones that it hangs my big old Elmo robe. I mean, this thing is huge. Me and Jeff both could fit in there probably. And then this is a big one, the biggest, bigger hook. And I also have my one of my head towels up there. All right, let's see. Where else do we have any? I can't think of any more. Okay, there is one over here, which it's not being used. This is one that no, that Jeff had put on here, and he bent it down for holding Selena's headphones because this used to be her dresser in her room, and she had her had it right beside her computer, so she had her headphones on there. So it held a big pair of gamer headphones. So they hold pretty good stuff, a pretty good amount of stuff. What else do we have on? Um. That painting that Selena did is hung by one. That is hung by one. The little deer thing. Here. Well, the painting is the only painting there. The deer thing is hung by one. Do we have anything in the pantry? I don't think so. No. Where else do we have command strips? I don't know. I can't think. Okay, so we have them different places in here for Christmas lights. We just don't take them down. And we have them outside around the house for Christmas lights. We don't take those down. You can barely even see them unless you come close. If you're, if you're not looking for them, you don't see them. 
And most of the time, people probably don't notice these, which not many people come in my house. But that's just a few of the ways that we can think of, because we didn't actually plan to do this, but that's a few of the ways we can think of that we use command strips. And if you want to, if you have any questions, if I can answer them, I'll be glad to answer. But we use them all the time to keep from messing up things to keep from ruining the walls putting holes in the walls and whenever we ever move if it can be hung by a command strip that's what we're going to use because we just would rather not have holes because you have to repair the holes if you ever want to change things so we're going to go on to the next thing and i think jeffrey's going to help me by being my videographer you're going to help me by being my videographer I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, like the dusting? Uh, I'm still thinking. <laughs> it ain't happening. Well, it looks like I might have to not have any help <laughs> with the video part. If you don't like it, it's not my fault. He, he'll help me. But I've got to clean the light switches and stuff. Um, I was trying to think if there's anywhere else we have any of those command strips. I don't know. I was trying to think of a, an example of one of those little bitty ones, but I don't know where we used those. There was somewhere we used them because we bought them specifically. If we think of it, we'll let you know, but we're fixing to get to the cleaning stuff. Okay, we were trying to figure out where we used the really little ones. Y'all aren't going to be able to see them, and I can't get over there, but... We have all of those hung up with those really little bitty. Can you reach over there, Jeffrey, and I'll hold the light? Do you need a light? Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Does it need a light? It. Okay. That's the really little ones, and we, we wanted. See, they were so hard to see that we couldn't see them. <laughs> That's how much they're hidden. But they don't, they're not supposed to hold a lot, and those things don't weigh much. So, now we're going to... Here, let me turn it around. Now we're going to go ahead and do the light switches, like I said. But I want to give you a special tip about the light switches. Don't ever spray toward the switches. There's electric, <laughs> electricity back there. Why are you looking like that? There's electricity back there. Now he's looking confused. <laughs> Are you talking to me or talking to him? I can't see them. You're looking at them. <laughs> I'm looking at myself. But anyway, don't ever spray straight toward the thing because there's there's electricity back there. Right, Jeffrey? And you could get electrified. We don't want that. So he's going to hold the camera and I'm going to clean and you're going to listen to some music. This may not even be enough for a whole song. We'll see.
too scared and lied to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better yet I get too drunk and too scared and lied to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say the obvious should calm down and that i'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but i don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I'm feeling something for ya done with all the chores I didn't do the front part of the house the sweeping and mopping part I just did it two days ago and I just I don't want to do it today plain and simple I don't want to do it today I went and did like the light switches and stuff which is nothing it took no time to do that but I went to Selena's room and I broke I'm okay now but I broke for a few minutes um, but I did it I didn't go in very far. I just went in to clean her light switch. I don't know why I decided to do it. I just decided to do it. And yeah, I'm okay though. 
Um, I have to be. I don't have any choice. But anyway, um, I did all the things on the list. Supper was done. I didn't do those haystacks because that was just a want. And really, I have the baked oatmeal that I can still have as a sweet. Even though, I mean, it's not super sweet, but it's a little bit sweet. But I think this video will be shorter than normal. Or shorter than it's been being. I don't know what normal is because my normal used to be a lot shorter. <laughs> but yeah, um, I got the jobs done that I was supposed to get done today. Except that one little part. And that's alright that I didn't do it. Really, nobody's really in there much. And I, I'm, honestly, I crawled around the floor so much. And I did actually wipe the hall some yesterday while I was in there. I don't know if I left any of that in the video. I don't remember if I did or not. But I did wipe some of the floor. Because, not because I saw stuff. But because I was there and I was like, well, I got to mop tomorrow. I kind of did some of it the old-fashioned way. Which is a way that I... If, if you can get down on your hands and knees every once in a while and actually go down and wipe your floors and get in all the nooks and crannies, it's a lot better, but I don't know. But I do believe that I have stirred up some dust and my sinuses are a little dusty. <laughs> but I'm not sick. I promise I'm not sick. At least I don't think I am. I don't feel sick. It's not like that. It's just a little bit... I don't know. But yeah, supper was good. And I showed y'all the command hook things. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, there's a command hook right there. Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness. I have one holding my scissors. And then I have one holding my tweezers. See, they're everywhere. And I don't even pay attention. Because they're everywhere. But... That's not a hole in my desk. Oh, there's somewhere else I have them too. I have them on the end. Hold on. Let's go. Oh, I hit y'all. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to. But I've got them there. Like the clear ones. I totally forgot <laughs> that I had them there. You can barely even notice these things. But I love them and I put them there because I wanted them somewhere near me. Don't ask me why. God, that light. That light keeps running over y'all. I'm sorry. I hope that's not super loud whenever I start to edit um, there may be a cut there. I don't know. But anyways, um, that's the jobs done for today. Even a job that I wasn't supposed to do today because I didn't, I wasn't supposed to have any clothes to wash. I would not have had a full load if it would not have been for uh, Noah's robe. I don't know what he did to it. I don't know why I needed to wash it again so soon. Maybe he just likes the smell of it whenever it's freshly washed. I don't know. Either way, it's fine. It wasn't a big deal to throw a load of clothes in the wash and dry them and fold them up. And now I've already got my clothes ready for tonight. <laughs> From the pajamas that I took out of the... I shouldn't have even folded them. Why did I fold them? I don't know. Anyway, tomorrow is day 19. We'll soon be there, y'all. Which, I'm going to keep doing the things. I may tweak them some. But I'm going to keep doing the things even next month. Uh, but 19 is under the bathroom sink and ca or cabinet. Um, the cabinet is Noah's in Noah's bathroom. That thing really needs to be gone through. But I think unless he wants to do it himself, we are going to repaint that bathroom. That's when we'll actually do a deep clean of that. But I'm going to talk to Jeff tonight and see if he knows of something. Our bathroom little vanity area, it doesn't have much space under there, but it does have like, it, it's, it needs a shelf in there. And then I could be able to put stack stuff or whatever. And we used to have, before we got the reverse osmosis thing, we used to have a shelf under the kitchen sink. I'm going to find out if he still has that somewhere. If he can install it in the bathroom. And if he can. Then I'll have. Hopefully. It'll be better. I'll have more space to put the things. Which some of the stuff we have in there is just. I don't have anywhere else to put it. 
but anyway I don't think there's anything that's garbage if I do come across any I'll throw it away but tomorrow is under the sink under the bathroom sink and then the next day is descale the coffee pot that is nothing <laughs> I'm not going to complain. And then the next day is the pantry. I really don't know what to even do in there. I guess we could like straighten up some stuff. And then under the kitchen sink, all I'm going to be able to do there is wipe it out because it's not disorganized at all. Um, or it shouldn't be. It wasn't. <laughs> Inside the cabinets and drawers is Sunday. Oh, Jeff's going to be here on the day for the pantry. Yeah because he's off work but uh inside the cabinets and drawers i do want to take everything out of my cabinets wipe them down and put everything back the way it's organized is fine but it does need a good wipe down it hasn't had one in a while um so yeah that's gonna be a job but jeff will be home and then on monday will be just shower curtains all i have to do is wash those That'll be an easy day. Which is good for me. We need easy days. We need to have some easy days between the more difficult ones. Because if we don't, we will tire ourselves out. And I have been trying to find things to fill up. Like do a little extra on those easy days. Um, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. One day I want to tackle those cabinets under there like they're not bad but we probably need to go through some stuff under there because it's been there so long I don't know anyway that's today I hope you guys enjoyed it I got the things done which makes me happy and I don't have to think about it again for a month and like I said I am going to be doing this next month I'm not going to stop doing it just because it's not October and there's no um, challenge anymore. I'm going to keep doing it. This is going to be a an ongoing thing. But I, uh, I need to wipe, mark those off. But I just, I didn't start it just to do it for a month is my point. That doesn't mean I won't change things. There may be some things that I change. So on the end, at the end of the month, I am going to probably sit down with Jeff and talk to him about it and see if maybe there's some things that we can change. Like instead of washing the shower curtains and the curtains on two separate days, do them all at one day and then put the something else on the shower curtain day and stuff like that. Just simple stuff because... I don't know. Really, it's according to what else is going on, too. Y'all are crooked. I just noticed that. I'm sorry. I can't change it now, and I'm not going to try to re-record, because I've just run my mouth like crazy. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't, do them anyway, because you might like something I put out later. And most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing because I would really like to know how are you. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.